Hello and welcome to Royal Victoria Country Park, the site of the former Royal Victoria Military Hospital. My name's Paul Delamore and I'm the project manager uh, managing this project with the Architects Department of Hampshire County Council. This is an amazing project. We're going to bring this chapel and this military hospital back to life. The chapel where I'm standing now um, is being renovated and conserved, ready for reopening next year in late summer. This is a really important project for me as well because as a local boy I'd never thought I'd have been stood here in working with my colleagues on this amazing project. So come on in, have a look and let me show you what we're going to do. What you see now is a chapel in readiness for building work and conservation work. The building work starts around the 18th of July and will last for a year. So hopefully at the late summer next year you'll be able to come and visit our newly conserved chapel with a free to entry exhibition. Now, if you haven't seen the side of Victoria Country Park's chapel, this is an amazing building. Come and have a look. What we're going to do with our video blogs is give you a little bit of information each month about the project. You will meet people that have been working on the project, meet the team that work on the park. And also, we're going to show you lots of the historical information and artefacts that we have here in the chapel and in the park. So let's start off by coming over here and having a look at this wonderful organ. Well, fancy meeting her here. Welcome to our beautiful chapel. As I told you, we're spending 2.68 million in this chapel and in the grounds. Above you, you'll see the colour of the chapel at the moment. This isn't what the chapel looked like in 1863. We've taken paint scrapings um, and had them analysed, so we now know the beautiful colour that this building probably was at the time, and we will re repaint it. Alongside that, I want you to look at these amazing light things. Imagine all around you in this building, down here listening to a church service, the hiss of the gas. And how did they get those lit from up there? Well, I'll tell you. They used to be lowered from a winch up in the attic, which we'll show you later, and then lit by candle and taken back up. We've still got the original pew ends of this building, which we'll bring into the interpretation. Oh my gosh, it's been a hard day. Up and down those stairs today, but here we are now, finally. We're in the roof of the chapel. You remember I showed you earlier where the gas lights would, were hanging from the ceiling and the colour of the ceiling? Well, we're on top of that now. But the thing I wanted to show you last of all was the winching gear that was used to lower the lights down to be lit and then would raise them back up. And here we are up in the attic where they are. So just take a little look at them and just see the simple piece of equipment that would raise those lights up and down. So, here we are up on the gallery. This has been closed to the public for many years for health and safety reasons. We're going to be doing a lot of work up here and this will all be ready for the public to come in, enjoy, take a seat, have a look around. I want to show you some more of the glass damage that I was telling you about. These beautiful, beautiful windows are all covered by perspex at the moment. But if you look down here, you can see how it's all cracked. We've got replacements for all of this that have been handmade. Can you feel, hear that? You can feel the engravings, it's not just embossed onto it, it's just beautiful. I want to show you some of the damage. Can you see this? Do you remember in February of this year or January there was huge, huge rainstorms. Someone whacked a baseball bat and it got stuck in the gutters. We couldn't get it out of the gutters because the winds were stroked so high that the cherry pickers couldn't go up. This was like a waterfall, so you can see the damage from the water where it's ingressed in, cracked all the plaster. So you can see we've got a mammoth job here. Our friends group need to raise £30,000. If you want to donate to help us in our objective, please feel free to do so. As we walk along here, the general public will be able to walk along here, and then you can sit down, take a moment, and sit in what looks like a really comfortable seat. But these seats, being Victorian, aren't very comfortable. Can you see how rigid they are? Can you imagine having to sit here listening to a service for an hour or two hours? Not only that, as I said before, you'd have the hiss of the gas. And here you can see where the old gas uplighters have been removed. All of this is going to be conserved. 
Okay, and thanks for watching the first episode of our video blogs and we hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to tune in and watch the next blog, which you can do by clicking on the link on your webpage. And of course, we hope to see you next month for the next instalment.